Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. Not sure exactly what's in here, but I'm pretty sure I know who it's from. We're going to find out together. Thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex and at least for the time being on TikTok at the underscore metal underscore complex. Okay. What do we have here? Let's find out. We have a yellow package that I will also need to open up. And am I right? Yes, I am. We've got knives from We. <laughs> <laughs> one that's stuck from Savivi, and then another one from Sencut. So let's see here. This is all 10th anniversary stuff. Oh, wait. Is this Sen... No, these are all... Well, we'll find out. I think these are all from Savivi, but let's find out. So, I'm going to do them all in one video. Sometimes I separate them, but I'm getting really, really stocked up on unboxing content, and it's starting to push it so far out that, you know, by the time I release it, it's behind. A lot of people always say, well, why don't you release more than two videos in one day? Because that's an absolute waste. The algorithm does not kick them out. Um, and I feel like two a day is quite a bit anyway. Um, so this is called, the, these will all be linked in the description individually. So you guys can check them out. The Borzum. It's a Civivi. The Civivi Borzum. Borzam. What do we got? What do we got? We have a nice, oh, wait, no, no, no. This is a Senka in a Civivi pouch. <laughs> Okay, well, we have a nice straightforward design and you know, the beauty of stuff like this is that it will inevitably be very inexpensive. Uh, it is a nice full size knife, at least eight inches. I can tell just by holding it, probably <laughs> that sounded awful. <laughs> okay, probably eight to eight and a quarter, just given my expertise on that subject, apparently. Uh, really nice thumb studs, great. And reverse flick, also very comfortable. Um, nice sheep's foot. I'm going to call that a sheep's foot. You call it whatever you want. Access to liners, very good. Nice, uh, very Civivi and Sen cut pocket clip. They they are obviously not going to change it. So that's fine, though. Um, is it, I'm guessing the steel is either 9CR 18MOV or it's D2. I'm going to, I'm just going to guess that that's the case. I don't know where that little piece of paper went, but I'd, I'd be willing to bet that I am correct there. Um, so yeah, okay, cool. Uh, next one here is this, according to the little piece of paper, which I will not throw off the table this time, is definitely a Civivi. So this one is the RS-71. Okay, you know what I just realized? The blade still is probably on the box of this one. 9CR 18MOV, so there you go. Uh, so this is Nitro V and G10. Let's uh, break that seal there that quality seal of course and oh oh this is the one so they sent me oh it's huge what is this pocket clip is this a titanium pocket clip hold on a second whoa 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 this is the wrong but what am i doing this one what what on earth? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I've never seen a pocket clip like this. Spear, black, stone wash, blah, blah, blah. Tip up, tip down right. It literally doesn't say. Oh, no, it says clip material is stainless steel. This is a milled steel clip. Good Lord. Wow. Okay. So this is the one. They sent me pictures of this. They said, what do you want to look at? And I said, uh, let me see that one, and I'll tell you why. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Oh man, I love this. This is so cool, man. Oh God, I love these knives that look like little combat daggers, right? I know that the geometry makes it less practical than something like this that has a nearly full flat ground blade, but this is really cool. And here's the other thing, Civivi, huge huge applause for not making this a tiny knife. I feel like, you know, the few models that we did get that were not, you know, like you can go to Amazon and find something like this and it's in like 
three CR 13 MOV and wood from like, you know, frost cutlery and it's like 27 bucks. Yeah, well that's junk. Like we want it from a nice, you know, we want it from a nice company like Sabibi. But when we did get these, the, the nice, you know, the quality ones in the budget territory, they would make them too small. Like we have smaller, you know, do you remember when Kershaw did a version of the Maximus Dagger, right? We had the Hinderer Maximus Dagger, which is cool and definitely full size, but really expensive and honestly not executed perfectly, but that's beside the point. Kershaw made one and for some reason just made it really tiny and they're like, here you go. It's less expensive and smaller. And it's like, well, but why didn't you make a bigger one too? Or why does it have to be smaller? Why can't it be the same size, right? So for the people who like the smaller stuff, fine. But this guy, this thing is huge. Look at this. Let me get the measurement here. I love this, man. Nine and a quarter inches with a four inch blade. That is so cool. Oh, admittedly, this little, you know, horn here, which... Yeah, it's a front flipper. Ha! That works really well. The little horn there makes it a little bit hard to utilize the two. We got two jimps. Uh, technically one. Um, but I think really this kind of thing is just cool factor. I have no idea. What are they what are they gonna price this at? It says 108, and then it looks like the target's right around here. Actually, I'm not super upset about that. They this is a little bit extra. Um, a little bit more than what they normally do under 75. So I'm not, I can't really complain. I think this is actually super cool. I am a huge fan of this. I love this. The layered uh, black and white G10. And I think it comes in a few different configurations. If you're like, I don't like that, I want a black one. Well, there you go. They make a green one too. But they're all like kind of that stepped thing there. Yeah. Yeah, that is cool. So that is... The RS-71. Wow, okay. Huge fan of that one. That is very cool. And what do we have here? Oh, yeah. I also remember this. Don't worry. We're going to get to the Wii. So this... Some people are going to like this. <laughs> you could say that about literally anything that I unbox. Yeah, some people will like this. Some people won't. They are really, like, still <laughs> really milking this model. But, okay. I mean, can you blame them? So this is the Civivi Elementum, but with the utility razor version, which is fine. And you know what's cool? It's a button lock. So we have a button lock utility razor. Okay. You know what? That's actually pretty neat, right? For, for people who are like, yeah, you know, all the, like you can go get a plain Jane, boring, super utilitarian economic box cutter uh, from Home Depot, right? You can do that. But if you want something a little more spicy that literally does exactly the same thing, but it's just a little bit cooler, right? Then sure, not bad. And you know what though? I bet I, I would be willing to bet that the price of this. So this does come in a few different colors actually. This is neat. I'm glad they sent me the gray one. It comes in black, blue, mint, and gray. They're look. Oh no! You know what? Not bad. So the MSRP is fifty, and they want they're gonna want like the street price is gonna be forty two fifty. So that's actually, okay. I thought they were going to try and slap like a $70 price tag on that thing. Uh, yeah, okay. That's actually kind of neat. And look at that. They were smart enough to give you a little choke up spot with a guard right there. Hmm. Yeah. You know what? I think that's pretty cool. That's a classy way of doing that. Nice. Okay. Very cool. And then finally, we have something premium. New Wii slash Civivi release on May 8th, 2024. Well... I think you guys are actually going to see this. What's today? Today is the third. So I think you guys are going to see this a little earlier than that. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. They didn't say I wasn't supposed to <laughs> show it. I, I, they didn't say anything. So, all right. So this is the, whoops. God, they sent a lot of some of these back. We 23035. Okay. The 23035. Maybe it's got a name. I don't know. The 23035. Oh, oh, it's a big boy. Ooh, okay. Oh, there's that nice titanium that we saw on the solid. Oh, boy. Is this an... Hold on a sec. Oh, is this Peter Carey? Is this based on the Cayman? <gasps> oh, wait, is it? Is this Peter Carey? Oh, Oh, now, come on now. Oh, boy. 
Oh, I'm pretty sure that's what this is. That titanium is beautiful. This is the titanium that I saw on the GTC and I, I absolutely lost it. You see this? That is gorgeous. Beautiful hand rub satin finish. I understand people are gonna say it looks like a plain blade, but this I'm pretty sure is modeled after that. Oh my gosh. This is that weird magic. <laughs> oh man, I'm a big fan of that one. This is that weird magic that I keep talking about. There's like, Wee Knives is coming out with new stuff and they obviously have new processes. And there's like a distinct line between the stuff that was getting churned out in 2022 and then a few things late 2023 and now like some of this stuff. This has the new Wii magic, right? I don't know what sort of wizard sauce they're dumping into those machines or if they're different machines entirely, but this is one of those new ones. Um, whatever you're doing, we I'm on board. I think this is great. I love this topographical silver. It's like aluminum and carbon fiber mascus, which is really cool. Uh, these are clearly, oh, they're polished titanium liners too. Look at that. The little anodized bowls in the pocket clip. We have a sub titanium frame lock. Absolutely gorgeous action. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love this. Beautiful. What's the blade steel? Surely it's it's probably 20 CV. I'm sure that it said on the box and I was just too excited. I got to really pay attention to where I put those boxes down. Like how did that thing disappear? Well, you know what? I, oh, it's it's literally right in front of my face. Stupid. Okay. Nah, CPM 20 CV. So it's probably going to be industry standard 5961, which I'm, you know, it's fine. But uh, wow, that is beautiful. It's so nice. That's a big one too. Um, actually approaching this. Remember this knife is nine and a quarter. So let's get these butt to butt. That's probably about 8.75 inches. Wow. The combination of colors and materials on this is beautiful. This is a perfect example of a knife that has all of that um, collector enthusiast flair, um, but is shaped in a way that makes for a perfect user. Cutting geometry, ridiculously, oh, it's so nice and thin, so bitey, beautiful. I love that titanium. I absolutely love, look how they did the, oh God, that is a perfect lock bar relief. Look at that. Oh, oh boy, that's just real nice there, yeah. Okay, some super, super cool stuff. This, I love this whole box. These two are fine, but I'm a big fan of these two. These are awesome. No idea what this guy's going to cost. Does it say? Did I get a little paper with this one? Uh, this one's folded up here. I bet you this one's going to be pricey, guys. Hold on. Let me take a look. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Not as bad as I thought, though. Not as bad as I thought. So, MSRP is way up there, but 314 yeah, um, this, this does feel like extra. This feels like we stepping it up a notch. Um, I, I, I do like that. I do like the finishes, the action, right? That's, uh, that's a knife I'd pay a little more for. Very cool. Very cool stuff from Wii. I, uh, I'm always excited to see new stuff from Wii and Civivi and Senka because they are, they are evolving and it's really cool. It's really cool to see them evolve and try new things and go that extra mile. Uh, I, I it seems like they're paying attention to what, uh, you know, new and old knife enthusiasts are looking for when it comes to knives that are increasing in price due to a number of factors, both inside and outside of their control. So, um, yeah, really nice to see. I think that's based on the Cayman. I could be wrong unless there's another carry knife maker that I just don't know, but I'm pretty sure that if I, if my memory serves me right, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a Peter Carey Cayman and I think that that's what that is. I'm obviously going to look it up right after the video. So if this is still in the video and not edited out, then you'll know that that's correct. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's unboxing. Thanks so much to Wee and Savivi for sending these in. They'll be linked uh, down in the description, but a lot of these are not available yet. So it'd be like a pre-order link. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. And you know, if I had the TikTok card, I'd put it out here, but it's gone. There's just debris everywhere. You can also follow me on TikTok at the underscore metal underscore complex. 
If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.